Alright guys, welcome to Red Dead Redemption. Now, I it has took me a while to get to this point. <laughs> Because, uh, when you think of Rockstar Games, this is probably the number one game that you probably think about. Because it took the world by storm back in 2010. So, I kind of figured, why not, you know, play it? Because I loved, uh, you know, the Red Dead games. I love GTA. Uh, so, might as well play this one. I'm super excited about this. If you guys do want to see more and you want to see a full series, uh, let me know by dropping a like or leaving a comment down below. That'll also let me know if you guys want to see more of this but uh i'm excited about this uh i've played this an unhealthy amount <laughs> i've played so much of this and when uh the second game came out i kind of fell in love with the series all over again i've spent a lot of hours on that game <laughs> yeah so i just want to kind of relive my childhood with this game because this game i remember i dumped a lot of hours into just because it's so much fun. Like, you can get lost in the series, like, lost in the map, lost in the story, lost in the side missions. Yeah, so I just want to play this game again. It seems like it's going to be fun because uh, a lot of people throughout the comment section, stuff like that, I suggested, like, man, you should play Red Dead. Like, that's a really fun game, and I think it'd be pretty fun to watch. And that, that's all that I've seen uh, suggested. So, might as well, you know, play... Red Dead Redemption. I am super excited. Uh, as I said, you want a part two or you want to see the full series blow this first part up. That'd be awesome if you guys did. But anyways, without this uh, intro being like five minutes long, it's gonna hear. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into this shit. I'm grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased with how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Hmm. 
Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Good evening there. Okay. We finally made it. All right, first things first. Options. I wish. I wish they had the option. Hold on. Where's the. Right there. That's the only option that is off. That is so stupid. Anyways. <laughs> Wait, there's cheats? Of course there's cheats. <laughs> it's an old Rockstar game, so of course there's cheats. Alright. Wow. Whew. This is. A blast from the past, man. Holy shit. So many memories in this one town. Well, not exactly. <laughs> not that many memories. I hardly, I think I hardly went to this town. Because it barely has anything. All right. First mission. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends. I'm pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. All right. All right, Jake. Mr. Marston, let's get. All right. Is that right? Take it slow on the way out of town. No need to kick up a lot of dust. Good to see you, partner. Right. there. Oh my God. Oh, I have to. That's how you do that. Okay. I was thinking I just. Pull down the stick and it would do that, but nope. Uh, Fort Mercy, you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. 
strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why did they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as most three to back to. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Okay. That is far where I don't really want to intervene because I might talk over them. Exactly. I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? Okay, it, as you can tell, dude, see what I'm talking about? If yeah. I. Yeah! <laughs> so it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Every time I start talking, they start talking. Watch. No? What was that? You're not really talkative, are you? No. I'm just. I'm just chewing the dog? <laughs> I have never heard of that saying. I'll tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> Not far now, Mr. Marston. The fort's just over this hill. All right. Listen, mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> All right. I, fr I didn't want to do that. God damn it. Okay, I gotta get used to these controls. Alright. You'll stay right there, right? You won't follow me? I'm just gonna assume that. Alright. By the way, do I have a gold gun? Why do I have a gold gun? Did I get, like, a special edition of the game or something? It just says Cattleman Revolver. Why is it gold? Hold on. Do I have a special edition? No, I don't. Why do I have a gold gun? I don't... Alright, whatever. Okay. Let's go. I don't know why I have a gold gun, but whatever. Let's do it. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. <laughs> Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. 
You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! <sighs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Oh. <laughs> Poor John. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance, for old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him, long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna... Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Hello, Mayor! <laughs> okay, we're live! <laughs>
Almost. Anyways, that is so weird. He literally just has an open knife. That seems super unsafe, but whatever. We're cowboys. We lived. <laughs> we lived to fight another day. All right. Let's join Bonnie, I guess. Mr. Marston, there we go. The land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. Okay, here we go. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Hop on up. You won't bite. Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bearing. All right. Okay, uh, hold eight. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Okay. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. It's kind of cool. Okay. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. All right, I'll give it to her. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. What is up with... Okay. Oh, easy up now. Okay. Jesus. It's kind of expecting it to steer itself, but I guess not. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Whoa there. Cool. before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. All right. There we go. Come on, this is the only chance you're going to get to rest. <laughs> My run. <laughs> that was so funny. Okay. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. We'd best get moving. This is a dangerous time of night for us. Okay. open and try not to get yourself shot again right is that gun also why are my guns gold <laughs> i don't mr marston i feel a lot happier someone's along with me i feel a lot happier now i got a rifle well with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition we should make quite a team 
I don't know why my guns are gold. I, I cannot tell you. Okay, I gotta keep my eyes out. I don't believe it. Those damn rabbits are back. Give me a hand with them, will you? Get your rifle out. It's about time these little thieves met their maker. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. I got fucking aim assist. Let's go. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Looks like we'll be having rabbit stew tomorrow. Let's get back on the horse. I say, can I pick it up? All right. Let's get going. We've still got plenty of ground to cover. Come on, boy. If it's not the rustler stealing our cattle, it's the rabbit stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. Become a lady of leisure. Damn coyotes are back! We can't afford to lose any more livestock. Kill them, Mr. Marston! Hurry! I bet they're going straight for the chicken coop. Alright. Come on! I don't know where that is. Oh, it must be over here. <laughs> Bitch! Away from those chickens! Oh, I was going to reload. Let's go. I'll take you back to your room. All right. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. All right. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. You can sleep in the bed in your room to save your game. Okay. If you sleep, you'll wake up six hours later. You can also pick up extra ammo from the trunk in your room. Dead Eye level 1 out of 3? Okay, honor system. I like it. Gentlemen's attire menu entry completed. Oh yeah, can I like change clothes? Well, yeah, outfits right here. <laughs> okay. Uh, scrap one. Okay, that's like everything's to. I'm gonna be unlocking these throughout the game. So I got this gentleman's attire. Uh, change outfits at camp or safe house. Oh yeah, don't you do at the bed? Yeah. Okay, what does this look like? <laughs> what the hell? I only have a, I only have a beard. I have a moustache and mutton chops. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I must stick to this though. And now I'm going to save. All right, guys, I am going to leave this part here. If you do want to see more of this game, uh, then I suggest you hit the like button, leave a comment. Then also let me know if you guys want to see more of this. Uh, thank you for any and all support you put on this first part. It'd be awesome if you guys blew it up. So uh, please do that. And, uh, yeah, I'll bring more parts if you guys do want to see more of this. But, yeah, anyways, meantime, drop a like, leave a comment, and welcome to the revolution.